Hi, we're looking for Cassandra. Yeah, that's her. How did you get my address? Really wasn't that hard, actually. Okay. What is this? Are we gonna get jumped? Uh-oh. Hello. Antoinette. Hi. Wow, that is some jacket. It's a vest. A vest. Yeah, don't mess with her. Yikes. <laughs> we just saw your email. Instagram crush. What is it about him that draws like, you to him? Obviously, we live really far from each other, but he built a connection to where we trust each other, like even, even though we haven't met in person or seen each other. We definitely care about each other, like with all of our hearts. He's told me things that he's never told anyone. Has he ever been able to definitively prove to you that he is him? Um, no, I've never seen him on, you know, like a camera or in person, so no. Don't you think it's a little weird that you've never video chatted with him? Yeah, it is. That's that's why, I mean, like, I have little doubts, and that's that's obviously one of them. It's been too long. I feel like it's time to, like, meet him. Get ready for an adventure. I am beyond ready. All right. See you in I Dallas. Guess. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Man. Oof. Obviously, some very big red flags here. Rapper. It's never a ukulele player. Ah. It's always a rapper. <laughs> we'll find out more as we go. So what's the plan right now? So I can stop the plan freaking out so much. Is that we are heading to the concert. We're gonna go in. We're gonna kind of hang in the back. Inconspe see inconspicuous. No, 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 because they're, they're like backstage. We're gonna get a drink. Chill out. Watch the show. It's gonna end, and then we'll go find him and talk to him. He just posted a picture nine minutes ago. Oh, what did he say? It says dressing room, getting ready. What's it like knowing that he's getting ready right now backstage? Oh, that makes me more anxious. Okay, so this is the bar. Look at this. Look at all the people lined up to get in. Wow, wow. it's packed. Is he? Oh my god. Oh man, this place is <laughs> popular. It's like a big deal. I'm like triple nervous. <laughs> Concert. This is a big deal. This is that why? More stressful. We are here. Wow. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh my god. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going, guys? Let's sit over here. Put her in the middle. Yeah. Are you okay? I know this is pretty weird. I mean, like, yeah. It's, it's already, like, enough, you know? And then this on top of it is, like, not healthy. How's everyone tonight? Let me hear some noise. I, that's not loud enough. Get loud, get loud. Stand up, drop it. Let's give it up for the 20s, straight out of Boca Raton, Florida. About to be worldwide. Probably like back here somewhere. Probably, there's a we'll find or a... That's them probably right there. Oh my God. Come, 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 come. No, don't. I'm freaking out. Remember, right. remember 
brother? Like, we don't know if it's him or his brother. Like, you have to ask first. Stay with me. Okay, so you go. You, okay. You're the right. Okay, so you hang here. I'll hang. And I'll go talk to <laughs> him. All right. So just go. through the shrubs. What is he doing? I don't know. What is he saying? I can't hear. Is that his brother? Oh my gosh, that's his brother next to him. Is it? In the middle of Yeah, him. yeah, that could be the brother. This is way too much right now. That's making me feel like more anxious. Just, let's just walk over there. No. Yeah, come on. No. What's taking so long? What could they possibly be saying? It's a simple question. Do you text her? Do you know you have sex? Oh my gosh. What is it? What does it look like they're saying right now? I don't know. What's happening? Okay, so his, he had no idea that we were here. Um, none of them did. What the story? Okay. So I said, like, do you know why we're here? It's Albert. I said, I, well, I'm guessing it's because of Antoinette. I was like, so that's you, right? You've been like, that's the one you've been talking to her. He's like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's just walk over there. Come on. This is, this is great. Time to jump. Why is it like? Jump. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. I don't think I need to introduce her. Of course. Hi. This is Antoinette. So <laughs> hey, I guess, yeah. Hey, I'm Max, by the way. Are you good? Chilling? Yeah, y'all did so good. You saw it? Yeah. What? I was in the very back. That's awesome. I wish I saw you. Do you guys know anything about this? Oh, yeah, you saw me tons about it. It's almost like just having a friendship, but they're attracted to each other, so it's all good. <laughs> so wait a second, so I want to talk to you because um, you know that like this whole time, we had this like shred of doubt or people kind of concern that maybe she was talking to you. Maybe right, she's a beautiful girl. No, no, but we're always trying to consider every option. So when you saw us on stage, were you like, that's legit? Yeah, it's so legit. I was like, he looks, <laughs> I was like, he looks the same. Like he sounds the same, like yeah. it's everything. You look the exact same. Really? Yeah. I look the exact same? Yeah. I still can't get over like turning my right and being like, damn. You should have been like, T. I would have been like, oh. I would have probably no, stopped her. I didn't want to like distract. I would have probably stopped the performance and been like, "Okay, so she's real, by the way." Because I used to ask him too. I was like, "Are you sure she's real? Have you been chatted <laughs> her?" No, right. He's like, "No, but you know what? It's crazy because a lot of times I saw her let's say, like try to bit or whatever. It's in the car, no connection, or we're at the studio, That's can't crazy, answer. Yeah. So I guess they never got a chance to. But yeah, it's like it's it's been going on for what almost two years. Yeah. yeah. And you called your manager and he told him that like he gave him your number and he's like, "So is this?" His number? And your manager was like, no. I was like, oh, what yeah, the he's, f he's like, dude, I just kept telling him, like, <laughs> no. Okay, I thought I, that. Because I was like, dude, like, I don't want my number to anyone. Like, yeah. Here. Like, I'm private about it, you know? I had to have that as, like, a small, tiny doubt. But, like, I just knew. We talk a certain way. And, like, no one, I mean, the emojis, like, we use. Like, I, feel I, like I, I don't know, I feel like I type the same. Like, I, I drag do. out my words for so, no reason. Like, 30 letters. <laughs> you made me do it. That's yeah. so funny. You know. It wasn't easy to get her to come here. Showing up at your show was a big deal for her. Yeah, that's a huge first move. That's true. Right. So look, we've got some time. You guys are gonna be recording tomorrow. Yeah, we have a studio session. Yeah, we can hang out. You guys can talk. That would be fun. Yeah. All right. Nice meeting y'all. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Okay. I think that went pretty well. I feel like come on, he's come on. really great. He's yeah. so sweet. Like our connection over the phone is like, in this, it just like naturally happened in person too. Are you relieved? I am very relieved. I'm like, I feel so like cleared out now. Like just like stress free. Yo, I'm ringing. Hey! hey, how are you, buddy? I'm doing great. I'm. I'm tired though, I'm not gonna lie. Why are you so tired? I don't get sleep. I'm busy all the time. Oh, like busy with what, work or? I'm really focusing on this game with my friend. It's, it's pretty cool. Like an app game or? No, like a game like on a PC and then later on we're gonna put it on a couple consoles. So you're developing some software and some new games, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. So wait a second, take us back a little bit. 
and explain how you guys met. Okay, I actually saw her and suggested friends, and I went ahead and added her, and then she actually messaged me. And like a short conversation later, she gave me her phone number and said, text me. That's how we started off. So she was a suggested friend because before she moved to Wyoming, she lived in Ohio, right? She did. She lived within 40 minutes or so from me. Had you guys tried to meet up? Actually, uh, yeah, I tried to meet up with her on more than one occasion, but she always blew me off whenever I was like right there. And then um, she went off to college to do track. So at the time you were 17, you were finishing high school? Yeah. Were you not dating or having, you had a girlfriend or? During that time, I didn't necessarily have a girlfriend. I never really found a connection. But then when I started talking to Jayla, she was able to break that down without ever actually speaking to me face to face. And I felt that was a strong moment. Like if you're able to do that, then there must be something there. And she's the first person I ever said I love you to. Wow. She didn't force me to say it. It, it felt good when I said it. People would always want something from you, and she didn't. You know, there was times where I was broke, and there was times where I had plenty of money and things like that, and she didn't care what my situation was. She only cared about me, and I, I felt like that's somebody I, I truly care for. I think you've you've made Neve misty. Well, you've... I, it's very, like, that's a beautiful way to talk about someone. So what's going on in your head right now? Are you really considering moving? When she asked me to move out there, I said, yeah, yeah, I'll come right now. I'll buy a ticket. Let's go. And then um, I set my phone down. I thought about it. Um, it's going to be really hard because I'm really vested in the game with my friend. We really have a close bond when it comes to the business. Like, we need each other. So it can ruin my friendship and my business partnership with them if I decide to up and leave for a girl. We got some big choices to make. Yeah. You obviously know of the show. You wrote into us. You're clearly dating a catfish, right? That's, that's what I need to find out. I'm just lost. In the history of our show, this has never been a great situation where you've never heard their voice or seen them on video chat. But I think that your story deserves an ending. We want the case. We'll take it. We'll take it. Thank you, guys. I really do appreciate it. The only issue is, with her full ride scholarship for track and field, I don't know that we're going to be able to catch her. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of hurdles. She's really just been running you in circles for the most part. You know what? I can't. I can't. <laughs> All right, look, buddy. Sit tight. We'll see you soon. All right. See you soon. So if there's a lot of people in there, it's gonna be really hard for us to like hear anything or film anything. Right. So I think the best version of this is if I go in, find her. If she's, she's, if she's, she's, if she's even in there. still there. And then bring her out here. OK. We'll wait here, I guess. Either she knows who you are, or she has no clue who you are. I've got a lot to ask. Jayla? Yes. Hi, I'm Neve. I make a show called Catfish on MTV. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Strange as this may seem, we're trying to help a young guy meet someone. I would love if you come outside. Hey, I mean, uh, yeah. I'm sure you're just as weirded out and confused as we are. Do you know this guy? Yeah. You do. You really were talking to me. Hi, I'm Max. Jayla. <laughs> Hi, Jayla. Look, I think we've spent a bunch of time with Jalen. He's literally just getting shocked with the fact that you are actually who you said you were, which I was almost positive wasn't the case. I think it would help us all just to know how this started for you, and then how did we end up here? Three years ago, I was, I was still in high school. So, I felt like I loved you, but my parents wouldn't approve of it. You're older than me. I met you off the internet. My dad's a preacher. It's just too much. You know how long it's been? I can see a year, maybe. Maybe, that's pushing it, but three? If your parents are the reason why I couldn't see you, you could have bumped into me at a Walmart and said, hey, like, not even a phone call. I'm busy, I do track, and then I have practice right after school. 
And on top of that, I had dance practice. On top of that, I played volleyball. On top of that, I played other sports. I'm sorry, what was your excuse for not getting on the phone? I, I missed yeah. that. I understand how it can be tough to tell someone the truth, but like, I don't get it. Oh, I was kind of trying to hold off because I want to apologize to you. I was in a relationship, so, and I was still talking to you and telling you I love you and all that, and I had a boyfriend, and I'm sorry. Are you still with your boyfriend? No, we broke up. They helped me find the Instagram. I saw pictures of you and another person. Why didn't you put it on your Facebook? You know, at least let me know. Were you trying to hide that from me? Kind of. When I tried to see you, I went over there, didn't hear nothing from you. I was actually at my ex-boyfriend's house. I wasn't even sure if you were you, and then I was scared to meet you. So is that wrong for me to be scared to meet somebody I have never met? I feel it's not. You could send a voice memo. You could have called me. Your phone worked. You a girl. You talk on the phone. That's disrespectful to my boyfriend. And you don't think that's disrespectful to me? I don't know you. I know you. You know how long it's been? Through text? I don't know you. That was the whole point of talking through text, so you can be comfortable enough to see me in person. OK, I'm, I'm trying to see you. I'm seeing you right now. I apologize. You had said things to him, like asking him to come live Yeah, and here. I really meant that. I'm older now. I'm out the house. I'm out with my parents. At the end of the day, like my relationship wasn't working out, I want you to be a part of my life. And I want you to at least accept my apology. You could have at least told me like what was going on so I could choose my position. If you want to be, be like some side dude, then say, hey, you know, I got a boyfriend, but I want you to be around. Then let me choose what I want to do. You were never a side person to me. I've missed out on so much the past three years because you want to play games. What, what's it going to be now? Because you see me in person. I mean, I care you know, I can, about I can. you. I do. You listen to me when nobody else would. You're nice, you're smart, you're funny, you make me laugh, even when I don't want to. And I didn't want to give up on that. OK. I'm sorry. I really want to believe you, but I, I need to walk away. All right, I think, I think we better just break for today. Okay. Maybe if I can explain the in between, this is stupid. All right, let's get, let's go. Hey guys. Hey. Hello. How hey, are Leah. You? We're good. We're How good. Are you? Yeah. I'm good, thank you. So we just read your email. Why don't you just tell us quickly a little bit about Justin? He is. Such a cool guy. I've never met anyone like him before in my life. Like, he's tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> he has tattoos. We go to each other for problems, and we help each other through so much. He's just a really important person in my life. Even when he stood me up twice. <laughs> in the email, you only told one story of when he stood you up. What was the other time? The second time was I went out to Vegas with my family. It was a few hours away from him. He didn't give me any heads up that he was going to cancel on me, but he just started giving me like all these crazy excuses like, oh, my car won't make it that far. It's not working too well now. I mean, you know that something's up, right? Yeah, but I can't move on. Like, this guy is so important to me. Like, I just love him too much. This is kind of like my last option. I really, really, really want to meet him. All right, well, I know you've waited a few years, but if you can wait, let us get out to you, and we'll track him down, and hopefully you'll get to lay eyes on Justin. The man of my dreams. <laughs> sure. Thank you so much. All right, Leah. Bye. Have a good day. See ya. Bye. Oh, man. Man of my dreams. This girl's sweet. Oh, I know. It's just, I want this to be No, her heart's real. about to I know. Break. The reality it's not is, good. something's up. We should definitely head up there and help her out. All right. Rochester. Yeah. Hi. Hey. hey. Good morning. What's going on? Not much. Uh, any uh, news, any update? No. So nothing, no text? No. This is a cowardly quality. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, regardless of whatever his secret is, let's say he ends up wanting to be with you, et cetera, et cetera. 
and you decide you're gonna date him and, or and everything. Like, this still happened where he was not man enough to come forward when you needed something. Yeah, you're totally right. I have no idea what to do from here. We've spoken to his friend. Maybe he could just tell us where he is. Should we call Todd? Sure. Yeah. Hey, good morning, Todd. It's Neve uh, and Max again. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm actually calling you from Huntington Beach. We flew out here yesterday. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, we're, we were really hopeful that we'd get a chance to meet up uh, with Justin. Uh-huh. Probably our last day here. Actually, I just left him. We just got done surfing about 15, 20 minutes ago. OK. Today, we went, like, south side of the pier, between Tower 15 and 17, kind of. You should go be down there. Thanks, man. Bye. Let's go to the beach. think about why you're choosing Justin over guys at home? Yeah, when I was younger, I was awkward, unattractive. Guys would make fun of me. In the back of your car in the early hours. Talking to Justin made things a lot easier because he never knew who I used to be. He saw me as somebody that was like perfect and he would just like appreciate me no matter what happened. And then he goes and does all this. It's hard to think that I ever will feel the same way about somebody else. This is it. Keep your eyes peeled. I see someone right next to 15 to yeah. the left. That could be him. The spot. All right. You ready to do this? No, but it's now or never. Yeah, I'm just freaking out. Oh, my god. We should probably keep moving. OK. Sorry. It's OK. You got this. Hey. It's us, dude. Hey, man. What's going on? How you doing? Good. Good to meet you, Neve. Justin. All right. Max. Justin. Nice to meet you. All right. Sorry to uh, sort of sneak up on you. We spoke to Todd. He said you guys were out here surfing, so we just thought we'd give it a shot. I mean, this is a little overwhelming. So I got a little bit of explaining to you guys. And Not to us. Well, I yeah. mean, you know. Is there a reason you didn't want to meet up with us? It's just I didn't want to do the show. Like, I've seen the show. I know how people tend to look on the show. I was looking out for what I thought was our best interest by not doing it. and. You decided differently. Yeah, but I've tried meeting up with you twice before this, so. I know that. I mean. I try to give you a fair chance. I know. I mean, like, when she came out here, I was in a relationship. Wow. We live on opposite ends of the country, you know? I had a real life in person relationship, you know, going on, and I, I have to still live my life. I wasn't gonna go behind that girl's back either, you know? Well, yeah, but I mean, that was like a plan. She tells you she wants to come out here and look at schools and visit you, and we're very encouraging of that. And we're like, yes, this will be great. We'll hang out. And if you knew at the time that you were in a relationship, like, that's kind of messed up. Because, I, you know, you, you kind of put yourself and her in that situation. Right. No, I mean, I understand. It's just timing wasn't the best. And, you know, when she was in Vegas, my car wouldn't make it. Like, these are, like, actual reasons. I'm not, you know, bull you guys and tell them not bull you and I told you that. I'm not trying to do that. She was under the impression that you were also single right now, and she's single right now. Are you single? Was... I'm not dating anyone right now. I mean, that's not, I'm sure you guys assume that as well, but that's not the case. Then why did you not want to meet up with me now? I was nervous, like. I'm nervous. I know, I know. I mean, this is, you know, this is like a big deal, you know? Like, I'm a very private person when it comes to that. This was your last chance to meet me, though. Like, I get that you're nervous. I was nervous, too. But at the end of the day, like, this was your last chance. I mean, did I, did I ruin all hope for us? Like, obviously, there's feelings. I mean, if you guys were in my shoes, talking yeah. to a girl for a couple years, it's not me just messing with her for two years. Right. It's a waste of our time. Why would I even want to do that? Sure, look. 
I don't think you've really shown anything to back up the things that you say, considering how you claim to feel about her. I don't have to convince either of you. I don't have oh, to convince yeah. anyone then. No, I don't but you have do to... have to convince I her. Do. Look, I mean... Leah is a pushover. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. She is. I don't want her to get hurt more than she actually already is. The thing that I, I still haven't heard you say is how you feel about her. This girl you've been talking to for two and a half years is in front of you. She's real. What do you want to do? I would like to talk to her, you know? It's a little overwhelming having you guys here and facilitating, like, yeah. We just read your email. We have a lot of questions. First question is, how does a girl so beautiful end up dating weirdos on the internet? I don't just date random people on the internet, but Yakima's pretty small, okay. and I use the internet for friends. Anthony just messaged me out of nowhere. But what about Jose? He did the same. Start telling us your story with Jose. Go through Anthony to where we are right now. Okay, well, with Jose, he had started talking, then he introduced me to his cousin, Kimberly. We went to school together. He was like, you know, she's new, she don't really have any friends, so I started talking to her. We're best friends, we do everything together. And then Jose turns out to be Kimberly. Yeah. And was she in love with you? Yeah, but I didn't know. She never told me anything. What was she like? Pretending to be Jose on the phone. Well, I mean, I would call him and talk, but Jose would never talk. He would text it. You were calling a number where you would just hear breathing? It wouldn't even be breathing. It would be on mute, so I wouldn't hear anything. Come on. Yeah, Marissa. that's wrong. I know it's wrong. Oh, oh my God. God. The whole school knew. They were like, you're being catfish. Like, he's fake. And I'm like, no, you guys don't know. You don't know him. Why would you say that? All right, so that went on for how long? Three years. What? Three. Wait, you were talking to Jose for three years? Yeah, three years. How do you get burned by a three-year catfish right. and then jump into another online relationship? Since I was talking to Anthony during I was dating Jose, he would tell me, if you feel like you're being catfish, do something about it. And that's kind of what like, made me fall for him. And I trust Anthony because we always talk on the phone. He calls me more than he texts me. At least you know it's a guy. Uh, yes, at least we've, I know it's a guy. We've made some progress. But then he also gives me a lot of reasons why I need your guys' help, because I would ask him, let's hang out. When he moved to Washington, and he stood me up three times. Where did he move in Washington? Because Washington's a big state. He went to Seattle, then he moved to Yakima. He moved to Yakima? He moved to Yakima, yes, like right here. Your little yeah. town. I mean, that's impossible that you wouldn't have seen him. The biggest red flag for us is how willing you are to believe anything anyone tells you. Have you ever sent him money or anything? I did. I sent him close to $500. I don't get it. Why? Why are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> because I love him. He's kind, super easy to get along with. We would talk about personal things. I don't want to give up yet. I just want. I just, I just want him to be real. You need some help. I know I do. These online guys are coming to Yakima, and we're actually coming to Yakima. Thank you. I know I need the help. We're coming to you. Bye, Larissa. <sighs> She's one of the most naive people we've ever talked to. This girl needs our help. All right, let's go to Yakima. You're going to find this guy. You're going to tell him how you feel, and you're not going to be the victim. Do you guys work up here? Uh, fish here. You ever seen this guy? He works at a cannery. Nope. All right, well, thanks, guys. Have you ever seen this guy? If you want something, you've got to actually put in the work and go and get it. Hello. Hi. Have you ever seen this guy? He might work at the cannery. No. We don't get a lot of locals here. Try our recycle. coffee. Local coffee shop. This is active stuff. This is how you stop being a victim. There's the coffee shop. All right, you're up. You start asking for them. Can we ask these guys here? Hey, guys. Hi. I'm like starstruck. You're starstruck? <laughs> All right, take a deep breath. Do you guys know anyone named Jose? Yeah. You do? I, you do? I, yeah. Have you seen this guy? It doesn't really look familiar, no. All right. Thank you, though. Yeah, All right. No Thanks, guys. We've got a question to ask you. Have you seen this person? This guy's supposed to work at one of the canneries. No. Maybe uh, the BME. A lot of the dudes go there. What's that? The bar, just down the way. That's where everyone hangs out. Well, and that's a good spot. To check. Right, thank you. OK. Let's go to the BNB. Come on, Lorsha, you got to lead the way. Oh, boy. 
sorry to barge in like this. That's OK. We're used to it. Welcome to the bar. We're, we're good. We're actually we're, we're on a little bit of a mission. We're looking for a person. His name is Jose. Jose. This person. He, that's what he looks like. He's supposed to work at a cannery. I've not seen this guy. Yeah. Who's that female looking for him? This? This Hi. lady. I'm Rigo. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Larissa. So are you pretty excited about meeting this person? I'm nervous. Are you nervous? I'm very nervous. How long have you guys been chatting? A year. A year. Well, right. you're beautiful, and I hope you find Thank what you're looking you. for, you know? Thank you. Good luck, bro. Are you single? Yes, I am. Well, we know where we're going if it doesn't work out. <laughs> Do you know this guy? Have you ever served him before? I think I've seen him before. You've seen this guy before? I think he works over there. Yeah. at have seen him Really? Really? Where's that? Down the street. Yeah, it's over here. All right. Well, that's something. Thank you for your help. Thank you. So the bartender knew. Look, wait, it's right there. Sounds like they're open. Let me see if anyone's in here. Hold on one second. Hello? Hi. Yeah, I just had a quick question. I'm Neve. Jessica. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. What can I um, do for you? I'm making a show. We're looking for a young man mm. named Jose. There are quite a few Jose's. I have a photo. This guy? Does he look familiar? He does. He's upstairs. He's here. I will uh, grab him. Wow, this is it. You ready? I'm so scared. Hey. Hey, what's up, man? Oh my god, I'm so scared right now. Uh, Jose, right? Yeah. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. You know who I am and why I'm here. Yeah. Well, how do you feel like Larissa reached out to us, and we figured out that you're Anthony. We wanted to meet you, but you didn't get back to us. But we figured out you were here. Yeah. We asked around, and here you are. Yeah. So I have Larissa outside. Can you come? Uh, can you... I, I was wondering if you could go somewhere else. Sure. Here it comes. Here it comes. Okay. Larissa. Here, why don't I just leave this? Uh, if you so, have some yeah, wherever, wherever is cool for you. You know what you're gonna ask? Why? I'm gonna ask why. Do you want to maybe explain everything? Uh, I can't really start somewhere because, like, I wasn't thinking about I wasn't, I just did it because, I don't know. It's no easy way to explain. Explain it however you can, because I want to know. We came to Alaska. We came all the way here. All we know right now is that You've been lying to Larissa yeah. that she sent you money, that you promised to meet her a couple times. Yeah. So right now we're trying to figure out if you're this big bad. I'm not that. I'm not jerk. That piece of. That's not who I am. I'm not a big piece of. Who is Anthony, and why did you create the page? I created the, that, the page just to get back at Anthony, who was a former friend of mine in Seattle. So Anthony's pictures that you were using are of Those so are actual pictures. Anthony <laughs> me over by getting into a relationship with the girl that I was with at that time. I found out, and I decided to make a fake profile to <laughs> him over with his girlfriend. I kind of told her all this <laughs> and made her think that Anthony was a piece of I've had friends <laughs> me over all the time, and I don't sure. go and make a profile. I Why used don't you just it just be to And go up in, you know, in front of him and be like, hey, you stole my girl. Let's, like, you know, something. I know I f***ed up, and I regret it. I feel like you're not really sorry. I just want to know why. Why me, though? Like, really? Like, I don't even know why I chose you. Like, I, could, I was talking to you like anybody else. At first, it was just a game. Yeah, to you. To me, it was just a game. But then after a while, it just became something else. Did you have real feelings for her? Like, I, 
like her as a friend. As a friend? As a friend. Actually, you were the yeah. first one to tell me you loved me. What do you mean? My heart was broken when I was talking to you about Jose. You just broke it more. You don't know how that feels. That's not right. What's up with the money? Why'd you ask for it? At that point, I was basically using her, basically, to be able to get home. Oh, but you're not being a piece of Oh, OK. I was basically homeless for six months in Alaska. But then I got into an accident, and the hospital paid my plane ticket to San Diego. And that's how I got home. That money that she sent, I never touched. Well, you couldn't have even really picked up the money anyway. You don't have an ID that says Anthony Ramirez. How were you going to get it to begin with? Instead of showing your ID, you can do test questions. Did you ever do that with yeah, them? She, yeah, she did. Yeah, I made questions. You no, she told me the answer. OK, well. Why did you leave San Diego and come back here? I came to Kodiak to stay away. I wanted a fresh start somewhere where I know that nobody knows me. To hide. To hide. You fled the lower 48 to come to Alaska and start anew. That only generally happens when like you've murdered somebody. I got into some issues. So there are other things that we don't know about. Yeah, I had issues with the law. And now I'm basically on the no-fly list. Basically, like I can't, I can't go back to California. So you're kind of a fugitive. Yeah, that's the honest truth. Hey. hey! Hey! How's it going? What's up, Caden? I'm doing pretty good. This is Cami, by the way. Nice I don't know if you've you. seen her in recent nice episodes. What's up, man? Have you always lived in Salt Lake City? I uh have. -huh. How's that? It's awesome. I mean, it snows a lot. It's snowboarding and skiing. Cool. OK, so tell us about this cruise. Take us back. All right, so we get on this cruise, and I believe it was the first night we were having like that big like dining dinner. And I looked up, and there was this just unbelievably gorgeous girl. I couldn't believe my eyes. So I started talking to her, and it was just all kind of like a dream, because we ended up spending the entire cruise together, because we just clicked like that. And she lives in Hawaii. Yeah. And did you guys hold hands, kiss, make out? Go to we held hands base. a little bit towards the end. Hell but hands. other than that, we didn't kiss or make out or anything. I was a shy little guy. But right before the cruise was over, I got her Instagram. Got home, and like immediately, we started talking quite a bit. We did FaceTime like a couple months after. But since she got a new number, you haven't spoken or FaceTimed? Nope. We've been talking on Snapchat since. Was there ever an explanation for why she got a new number? She told me that she just got a new phone for Christmas. You can get a new phone and not have to get a new number. Right, I definitely thought it was pretty suspicious. So wait a second, why don't you talk on the phone anymore? I don't know, I've asked her and she always has excuses. Like she's what? She's busy or she's at school. Or like why we've never FaceTimed anymore. She's always told me her cameras have just been broken. But she's still posting on her Instagram. Right, she tells me those are like professionally done pictures. Mm. But is she like Insta famous? I'd say yeah. How many I mean, followers she does she have? Like 20,000. Wow. Hmm. Do you guys still DM through Instagram? No, we don't use Instagram anymore. So you've been talking nonstop for three years, but it, it went from FaceTime and like sending pictures and all that and talking on the phone to now Snapchat, text only. Yeah. Something's going on. I think there's a chance when her number switched, mm -hmm. something happened. Yeah, no, for sure. Well, I hope it's her and I hope we get to go to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if we end up doing this, there's a chance we might meet up with her on Valentine's Day. <gasps> oh my god. You gotta kiss this girl. It's like true love's kiss. You gotta you find have to yeah. kiss her. Have you I ever try. seen The Little Mermaid? I have. You're the prince. Mm-hmm. And she's Ariel, because she basically lives in the ocean. She has no voice. She has no voice. She's a mermaid. She's a mermaid. Oh. She got legs to go on the cruise to meet him, and then she went back into the ocean and she has never voiced anymore. <laughs> because of Ursula. <laughs> it's Ursula. Wow. Wait, all right. So hang tight. Give us uh, yeah. till tomorrow morning to get all our crew out to uh, Salt Lake City. Just to let you guys know, I'm actually staying with my friend for a couple of days because my mom didn't want me to like go on national TV. She kicked me out for that reason. So you're so, trying to risk it all for this girl. Miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yeah, but you also miss your bed if you can't come home. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> all right, we'll see you soon. All right, have a good one. See ya. Later. Oh my gosh, Cammy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna say. I don't Start even Start with a high. Hi. What's your biggest question? What do you want to know the most? Who have I been talking to? Who have I been talking to? And just let her talk. Sometimes, especially when people are lying, mm -hmm. 
Once they keep talking, the lies just start to unravel themselves. Is Adriana working for me? She is. <sighs> we came all this way. Almost 2,200 miles. Time to get some answers. Yeah. I know, I mean, I, I know you're working. Do you have two seconds? Yeah. I've got Kate. Okay. He really wants to see you. Can you, like, meet, like, talk to us outside for a little bit? Yeah, sure. All right. No, I have anxiety. <laughs> yeah, it's really hitting me now. Oh, here goes nothing. Let's start rolling. She said she'd come outside to meet us. Oh, there she is, there she is. Ooh. <laughs> hey. How are you? It's good, good to see you. I know, good to see you too. So what's up? I'm Neve. Obviously, we just met. This is Cammy. Nice to meet you, nice Adriana. To meet you too. Um, here we are. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of questions. We spoke to Alicia, and she told us that it was actually her that had been communicating with Caden for the past few months, sort of pretending to be you. Is that true? Yeah. Well, Alicia saw your Instagram through. She has access to my feed. Number one, we. We're best friends, I mean, it's not. She has access to your account. Yeah, and then she saw your feed through there and was like, oh, he's really cute. And then she asked me about you, and then I told her who mm -hmm. you were, met you on a cruise. She messaged you without my knowledge. I didn't know that it got to the extent that it did. She let me know that it happened, and when she did, it was like, she downplayed it a lot. She was like, oh, it was like only a one-time thing. I was just trying to like, I don't know, see if the vibe was there. And I was like, oh, OK, it was like a little odd. But I mean, she's like, I'm just feeling it out, you know, just, I don't know. She thought you were cute. So I was like, this is my friend. I guess I'll support it. And I didn't know that she was doing it so frequently. How could you not tell me? I mean, how long have I been talking to Alicia? It's been on and off. So when Alicia asked you about Caden, mm -hmm. you said you guys were good friends. Yeah. So for all these years, that's the extent of how you feel? Or do you feel more than that? No, we're good friends, yeah. I mean, we were very young when we met. And we only spent, like, maybe, I don't know, not even, like, a full day together. So it was, we didn't really know each other enough for me to actually, like, have feelings or feel any type of way. To him, sort of felt like could be the beginning of a young romance. <laughs> he said you guys like, I know this sounds corny to say, but like held hands. I have no recollection of holding hands or being affectionate in any way. So you didn't feel sparks? I didn't. Does that sound honest? I mean, I'm not saying you're lying. No. I'm just like, for all these years, you had no idea that he had feelings for you? I don't know, is, is that, is he, blowing this out, out of proportion, or are you trying to downplay it? The way he tells the story, he's like super into you. and That's not, I didn't pick up on it. Um, I mean, every once in a while, there was lighthearted, flirtatious messages. But I mean, I feel like I didn't reciprocate. I don't know if that is, can you acknowledge that? Mm -hmm. Um, kind of. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I mean. But I've got to say, beyond all that, to me, it's odd to just have friends, you know, taking over your social media accounts and talking to people on your behalf, especially, you know, considering your page and your following. I would think that you wouldn't want somebody who's potentially having conversations outside of your knowledge with other people. I guess it's just, I think it's just the trust factor. I mean, look, after all these years, it feels a little weird to me that you wouldn't be a bit more empathetic to Caden, knowing that, like, you know, this relationship maybe meant a little bit more to him, but that also for the past few months, like, has been sort of falsely perpetuated by your friend through your account with your knowledge, like. No, I definitely, I do apologize for whatever she had said. Why didn't you say something to him? Why didn't you, like, clear it up? Alicia's more of a friend to me, and I felt like my, that's where my loyalty lies. Do you have a boyfriend? I do. Mm hmm Is it Michael? Michael, yeah. How long have you guys been together? Um, we're going on seven months. Yeah. 
little bit. What do you think the chances are that we can talk to Alicia? Because we've been trying to... Oh, really? I could definitely hit her up. Let me see if you guys can all meet. OK, that would be great. Oh, I should probably get back to work. OK, bye. Thanks. Nice to Thanks. meet you. See you. It just feels very... Cold. There's just a way that you handle people yeah. on an empathetic level. Right? That she just didn't give she, a I about. feel like she would have come out and been like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. She just brushed that off her shoulder like it was nothing, and I mean, three years, or four years. I don't know how that can turn into nothing. It's all a little weird. All right, why don't we get back? All right. Back in the car. Hello, hello, hello. Yay! Yay. <laughs> oh, look at this tattoo. What is your tattoo? <laughs> it, is, it says love. At least it doesn't say Zoe. <laughs> What's going it's on bad. over there in Heartbreak Hotel? Uh, it's bad. How often were you guys like talking? Every day for like a good year. From the time I woke up to the time I went to sleep, I was struggling. She kind of lifted my spirit so It felt good to have someone that really had your back. From there, it started declining. When it became like a repeated cycle to every time we're trying to meet up, like there's always an excuse. You kind of like, okay, what's really going on here? Did you guys ever video chat? Never video chatted. And when I asked, you know, for why don't you just send me a new picture, it was like me asking her for a bag of gold. Even through all the, the pain and the hurt, I tried to see the best in her. I want to be with her, but I really want to know who I gave my heart to. All right, well, look, we're going to pack up and head to you. So get ready for that. Wow, man, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless right now. <laughs> we're going to do this together, OK, Craig? All right, man. Later. OK. You do it? Yeah, let's yep. do it. cars in the driveway. It's definitely the house. And I don't see any lights on. It's pretty loud, right? I mean, the garage doors are open, so I feel Someone's like home. you wouldn't just leave those open, no. right? I mean, should we try calling her? I mean, it doesn't look like anyone's here. Hmm. What should we do? I think someone's in there. Like well, watching us. That's what I'm thinking. Here's a car. Looking for Cassandra. Yeah, it's her. How did you get my address? Really wasn't that hard, actually. Okay. So, it's, it's, 
Years up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Obviously, you know, yeah, I am Craig and fully aware. This is my sister yeah. Mariah. Um oh. <laughs> I imagine you know why we're here. You've been pretending to be this girl Zoe on line now for quite some time and we were hoping to see if you had an explanation or some excuse or uh, anything I you wanted no to say. I got no excuse. What was your purpose? Like, um, why? It was just a joke and it just got out of hand, so. But what you done? Like, you know how I mean, many times listen, I contemplated in my mind, listen. like, am I crazy? You don't have to sit there and tell me what I've done because I'm fully aware of what I've done. <laughs> but why? What'd you get from it? It was just a, like a game, a joke. Put people on blast, basically. Put people on blast? To get revenge on them, or? I want to say revenge, just mess with people. Look, we just spent the last three days talking to people whose relationships and, and lives you've, yeah, you've right. ruined like a whole community, a whole... Yeah, I know. My life, too. Yours, yeah, yours, too. You made me lose trust with people. You made me break up relationships that I have with some of my closest friends. Even you, I thought, was a close friend of mine at the time. I just could be real with you about your friends. Um, I really didn't feel bad. But none of those people did anything to you, right? No, not really. You know, you stabbed me in the heart plenty of times, you know, playing me, lying to me, and I still stood by your side. Yeah. No You've done some nasty it. like why? Yes, like, I know I well, have. Well, there is but... an explanation for it somewhere. Okay. What is, like? I, I truthfully just did it. I don't, I don't, it just got me hand. I did it for fun. I'm not going to lie. So like, pretty I, much it got I you made off. Some... Did you have feelings for Craig? No. That was just a game. <laughs> I mean, yeah, kind of, I mean, but it goes both ways in this situation. It wasn't just all me now. The fake profile wasn't me. But it was you. Oh. At the end of the day, it was Cassandra. Several times, you on the phone, you know, you sit here and tell me that you want real love. And I did everything in my power to give you just that. Okay. Just to be on in the end. That's great, but it's just... You don't get it. I'm looking at you, I know you don't get it. Well, whatever, like, I don't need this. Yeah.